Well, it's been a while since I've done one of these reviews and I'm back and today we're going to be taking a look at one of many GNU approved Libra Linux distributions, Parabola LXDE, right now on Linux Lounge. <laughs> Yep, as I said in the introduction, this here is Parabola GNU Linux, uh, one of many completely free open source and Libra distributions. And honestly, in my opinion, I think it's one of the best, but uh, more on that later. Um, it's based on Arch, which is a fantastic base to have. And as I said, completely GNU. So if you want to like run a machine that's completely free software, this is a good way to go. Um, now I've already done a review of uh, Parabola Mate and um, besides the desktop environment themes and that sort of thing uh, this goes relatively unchanged from that all of the uh, software selection is essentially the same I'd say brilliant as I said in the last review I'll have a link to that review down in the description in case you want to check it out because um, I go more in depth on uh, you know several things there but um, with that being said let's give uh, this desktop a look now, um, first impressions is, um, you know, it's it's not bad. Uh, however, my first complaint would be here, it uh, refused to install. Like, it would get to a certain point, then it would just hang, like, not happening. Now, I would suspect that's with this being a virtual machine, that that's not working. Uh, because many other people have managed to get it successfully installed without issue. However, if you are looking to install this distribution, keep that in mind. I did have issues trying to install it no idea how it goes on real hardware i would assume you know maybe it would work there i don't know um but that is something to keep in mind another thing is uh looking on their site the mate version they don't seem to have a pre-built iso of that anymore so essentially by the look of things this is replacing it not a bad replacement uh, however if you do still want parabola mate well there does seem to be a script to install it over here so if that's what you're after well then in theory you could still install it but this has kind of become besides the you know sort of set it up yourself archway parabola this is kind of the default uh well sort of pre-configured parabola and you know what it's, it's pretty good it's a nice interface but more on that later now first impressions is this distribution you know besides having all free software which is you know quite well it's not particularly typical of most Linux distributions um, it does look very basic and the software selection is quite basic so if you wanted to build your own sort of Libra system from this you in theory could um, you know the icon theme the uh, theme is all very basic quite old looking I would say but not necessarily in a bad way you know it's it doesn't look awful you know quite a nice sort of dark theme going on um, you know, there's no particular icon theme modifying everything, which, you know, you either love it or hate it. Um, as I say, the theme is definitely better than the Marte version, though, which was, you know, sort of, for whatever reason, bright pink. I don't know why, but, you know, as I say, as always, you can, in fact, change that. Um, you know, it's a relatively, uh, you know, standard LXD setup. The only thing I would say is the dark down here, which is quite useful you know you got your menu at the top some shortcuts to apps you might need up here you know um, all the usual stuff you know all your controls actually you have a CPU um, monitor up here which is you know, a nice touch to have I suppose um, you know your wallpapers are sort of quite a minimal selection there but as I say I imagine most people are going to add their own and you know that's all the sort of more pointless things out of the way now onto the actual software selection now as I said earlier everything here is Libra so problems you may encounter there are software that you want might not be available you know your Wi-Fi might not be working you know all that sort of thing so if you want any proprietary non-free software this is not the distribution for you uh, in fact uh, this distribution even sort some measured in place to stop you from accidentally installing non-free software uh, easily bypassed if you want to uh, you know install this and maybe cheat to get your Wi-Fi working but that is something to keep in mind especially you know if you want free software that's fantastic if you don't it's a deal breaker um, but you know for your software you know you get your, your sort of relatively standard accessories you know your calculator 
you know your message um, leaf pad screenshots archive manager an image viewer so no gimp or anything like that um, you know for your internet you get e-links which is an intriguing choice as a text-based browser ice dove ice weasel which are essentially um, you know sort of the Mozilla software um, free skin to be you know, sort of completely free software um, you know with sort of basically you know exactly what you would want to have a web browser and email client you know your internet messenger your um, you know Ring, Zenmap, Qtox, uh, you know, in your office you've got your Abbey Word, your Genumeric, your ePDF viewer, um, you know, you've got a relatively simple music player, a video player, you know, it is quite light on the software, but I imagine most people are going to want to uh, install this, are probably going to be building their own systems up from this anyway. Uh, an intriguing choice though over the Marte version of this, instead of uh, Ice Cat, I believe it's called, they've decided to opt for Ice Weasel, which is, as far as I can tell, based on a much newer version of um, sort of Firefox, and uh, inexplicably doesn't have quite the same sort of privacy extensions in that that um, you know your uh, Ice Cat does. So you know that's either going to be great or it's going to de be a deal breaker but you know presumably you can get ice cat on the system in fact you definitely could because you could pull it down from the AUR um, but you know you've got a nice new rebranded uh, Firefox here you know if you were after the newest version well that's available to you um, and you know as I say that's you know it's pretty much it it's quite a bare bones system you know I can say all Libra so if that's what you're after it's fantastic uh, Basically, it's, it's everything you'd want out of a completely Libra distribution. Now, do I recommend you install this? Well, if you're after a completely free software distribution, absolutely, this is great. Um, like I say, if you're just looking to experiment, it's also great because you can try out a lot of free software through this. You know, you sort of uh, stuff you may not think of like you know, your rebrandings and that. Um, Problems you might encounter are, as I say, a lot of hardware is not going to work because, you know, Libra, you know, a lot of software that's not going to be available, um, you know, you're not going to get your proprietary graphics driver, so you might not be getting the most out of your hardware in that regard, but all in all, as I say, this is, as always, Parabola is a fantastic distribution. If you're looking for a Libra operating system, well, this is the one that I'm going to recommend, but... With that being said, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.